So I started off, um, I used to do my roughs, and I do quite detailed roughs for picture books. Um, but then I would then redraw everything. I used to use a dip pen and ink, and then paint bits and colour bits in, scan it in, put bits in the computer. And really a few years ago, a couple of years ago actually, I just sort of realised that it was losing a freshness that I didn't want to lose. And actually stuff I do in my sketchbook is really full of life. So now I tend to use my original line work because it's from the original picture. So everything is now just drawn in the pencil that I use. And I use a really, actually I use really cheap pencils. I use mechanical pencils from uh, Paper Chase and Staples. And I think you can get a back, back, pack of 10 for about two pounds. But they're brilliant. They're, they're my favorite pencils to use. Um, and I just draw on uh, ordinary printer paper or my sketchbook paper, so moleskin paper. You know, you've got to be very honest with yourself about what works for you and actually my, and what your strengths are. And I think probably my strengths are the, the work I do in my sketchbook and line work. So as long as I can keep that, it doesn't really matter how I colour it in, but f Photoshop helps me because I'm quite indecisive and I like to play around with things and come back to it and be able to rework stuff without having to draw it all again. So uh, Photoshop gives me that freedom. But I would never want it to look too digital. I'd like to keep it looking quite hand-drawn and hand-painted and a mixture anyway of things.